what does the market do in the interim? Because there is this talk about how the U.S. markets are looking price for perfection. Europe is also catching up. Here in Asia, some markets are doing okay. Some markets are lagging on the back of slow vaccinations as well as the virus situation. And so how are you going about allocating capital in this environment? Yeah, so on one hand, you have this strong economic growth on the back of a low base. And also we do see very strong economic data across the board, particularly in the, in the West world. Uh, but on the other hand, we do, the, we do see the resurgence of the virus as a key, one of the key risks. And also we see the Chinese regulatory risks as one of another uh, sentiment stopping risks as well. So net, net on both sides, we continue to think that we're going to see slightly higher rates and a steeper curve. And that's still pretty supportive for the carry trade for fixed income. Right. In terms of sector allocations, uh, Jenny, where is it that you believe uh, there is risk adjusted reward building? Asia. Asia credit is really uh, cheap on um, valuation. It's probably because of the headline risks. Of course, one is the Chinese regulatory risks, and two is on all the regulatory and the headlines, idiosyncratic on Chinese property, on some Chinese SOEs, on the China defaults. So Chinese credit overall underperformed significantly year to date. That drags the whole Asian index down. And we continue to see value there. And we think the investors are way too negative uh, and pessimistic about the outlooks of the Chinese economy and about the Chinese default probability. And we do think that for investors who can actually ride through the volatility will get rewarded pretty nicely. Okay. And what about Chinese tech? Uh, given that it's a sector which is in the eye of the storm. How are you approaching trade there? Chinese tech actually is one of the largest issuers in the Asia dollar market. Uh, it's investment grade, they are all investment grade rated. And despite all the headlines and everything, it doesn't change the fundamental fact that they have a lot of cash on hand. They have a very strong capital structure and their fundamentals remains very stable. And then don't forget, yes, those regulations, the new regulations targeting these new tech companies may not be necessarily good for growth, but for fixed income investors, you probably want that more stable, stricter, more predictable regulatory environment that's actually good for fixed 